Hey guys, how's it going? Happy day. <laughs> I told you I'm not gonna say days anymore for a while because, and forgive me, I'm eating my... I just finished working out and I got up really late. I don't know about you guys, but after I get like a really massive sweat bath in, I should have to wipe the sweat off. Anyway, cheers to you. I got up really late and thus it's, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it, it's Sunday. I got up really late and thus I'm doing my cardio, my first cardio late, and thus I'm having my breakfast late and I'll explain why it's a priority for me to eat this. Because this is like my favorite meal of the day. Michael's doing this really sick experiment with me this week. And I believe he's deriving quite a bit of joy out of watching me squirm this week. But that said, I'm only allowed to have my carbs before noon. And since there's like 10 minutes left before noon, I'm gonna make sure I have my oatmeal. Which by the way, oatmeal, I don't know why I didn't think of adding this before. With PB2 in it, that's backwards. Um, it's like an out of world experience. So just regular oatmeal with like one, tea, one tablespoon probably. PB2, if you haven't hopped on the PB2 junk bandwagon, I can't even talk, you're insane. So it's powdered, basically like powdered peanuts. They have like a chocolate flavor and then um, regular peanut butter. But two tablespoons, and what you do is, if you wanted to make like peanut butter, you mix it with water. Um, or all of my influential people, especially the girls, are really creative and they've made all kinds of sauces and stuff. So like when I'm eating things like, which I'm counting down to being able to have a protein pancake again, um, I'm getting to this diet experiment this week in a second. Um, they're two tablespoons mixed with water, so 45 calories, one gram of fat, six grams of carb, four grams of protein. So I add one tablespoon because I'm allowed to this week. Um, to my oatmeal, and it's extraordinary. You can see, I'm about to lick the plate. But it's also that, especially after my morning workout, I'm freaking hungry. Un momento. Oh, let me just start the water. Um, so anyway, oh, there's something sticky on my, whatever. I need to focus, I know. So, I wanted to shoot this vlog because even though I have like three backed up videos that I need to go live since I've been back, there's really just a whole lot that my workout, and yes, isn't this dorky? <laughs> I'm somebody that is becoming so, which these are some of the things that change when you start feeling better about yourself and you're feeling good about your workouts and everything, you know, you get more into wearing um, some of us, you know. I'm totally into, but I didn't plan this. This just happened to be the headband that I threw on and then I was like, look at this shirt, it matches. It works. Um, my shoes don't match it, okay. But I don't have a problem with my shoes kind of coordinating, it's just a thing. Um, and I love people that are such douchebags, they're like, oh yeah, I can't believe she like matches her stuff at the gym. Why don't you like get a life and start doing a few more reps instead of worrying about what other people are wearing, okay? If some of us like to look good, that's not a problem. Maybe you should think about getting a wax. Um, anyway, did I just say that out loud? I think I did. Anyway, here's the thing. I got up this morning. Aunt Flo is expected to arrive any day. There's that little bra strap I love so much. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make a point about, I'm not talking about my boobs, I'm talking about the bra in a second, kind of about the boobs. Um, but anyway, I got up this morning and last night I was starting to feel really, kind of like I was getting a cold, but I'm starting to think, Michael told me, he's like, this is what happens when you get your cycle. It's like he's, he doesn't like to say the word period, which makes me laugh. Um, he's like, this happens when you get your cycle. You start to feel like, and I do, I get like a massive headache. Of course I get a craving for chocolate because I was begging him, please just bring me chocolate. I will do anything. And um, so the hunger, the chocolate cravings, the moodiness, <laughs> and massive headaches, and then lower back aches. And it was all coming yesterday. And then by the end of the day yesterday, 
I was like, I don't feel good. I'm not happy. I want to punch a wall out, and I don't think you want to be around me right now. So, Odd Flow is on the way, okay? And I went to bed early last night, and I told myself I was going to just sleep in. Massive sleep in. Not, you know, I'm, I'm trying to, especially now that I'm back from vacation, um, I'm trying to get start back into that cycle that I'd gotten into before, where I go to bed at 10.30 and I'm up at 6.30. I like to get up earlier and get stuff done. I don't like waking up late like I did today. Anyway. So I let myself sleep in. Oh, that's such good coffee. Sorry, I think I may have just spit too. Um, I just realized that I didn't. Yes, I did. I Instagrammed it. Sorry. Um, okay, I did. The world would stop if I didn't Instagram my uh, my workout. Come on now. There's needy people in the world that need to know how many calories I burned this morning. Um, anyway, so I get up this morning. Um, I gotta take this chest strap off. For those of you that ask, a lot of you ask about, you know, how a polar heart rate monitor works or how a heart rate monitor works. I don't know how the other ones work, but you know, a polar, this is your chest strap that you wear. So you wear, you can't really see it under my boobs, um, but you put this, so there's two, see this? Can you see this? There's two, um, those are the straps that kind of read your heart rate, I, I guess, I don't really know. But those things stick to your body and then this is your, Thing that talks to your watch. And I'm sure the people at Polar right now are like, why is she talking about our product like that? I get people to buy Polar, okay? Anyway, um, so I get up this morning. It's really, really late. I have like 200 texts from people, which basically are all like, I mean, what, what's wrong with you? Why aren't you up? Why aren't you on Twitter? <laughs> people know that they're, that's how they'll know there's something really wrong with me if I don't respond. If you first try me via social media and I don't respond for a while, and then you try me via text, that's when you know to start calling. This one looks kind of funny. There. Did I just make it smaller? <clears throat> I'm getting to a point. I'm seven minutes into this vlog and I may be getting to a point. Anyway, got up, slept in, so I'm feeling kind of like behind the eight ball, right? I'm feeling like I uh, slept in, I'm feeling groggy. Odd flow's underway, blah, blah, blah. And I go in and I weigh myself. I'm 2.4 pounds more than I was yesterday, okay? Now, <laughs> you see me smiling, okay? Yes, I was annoyed. I texted it to Michael because I text him how much I weigh every day. Um, and I've told you guys, now that I've started weighing myself every day, um, I've let go of trying to make my weight on the scale be what anybody else's is. I've let go of getting really upset for a long period of time about things like that. There's no way that in one day I didn't, I ate enough or, or did something that would warrant me actually being 2.4 pounds heavier. So as much as Sherry is probably laughing at me right now, because she's always weighed herself every day, and I'm not saying that you have to weigh yourself every day, trust me. What I'm telling you is I avoided the scale um, for the past two or three years in this really rough time I've had with my body and perimenopause and all of that because it's kind of like, you know, people that have problems balancing their checkbook. You just avoid it. You're like, I'm not gonna look at it, I'm not gonna look at it, just don't even tell me. You're not gonna get anywhere if you don't face your, your problems, the things that you need to change. And certainly, hello, I've made more progress in two months this year than I have in two years. You need to stop texting me right now. So what I'm telling you is, I get up today, I'm feeling tired, I'm feeling lethargic, I'm feeling like fat and swollen. That was the other thing that happens. This is just, guys, sorry about this, but women, this is, we all know that this is what happens. You can feel great about yourself, and then the second your hormones start to change for that time of the month, all of a sudden you're like, I am a cow. I look disgusting, I hate everybody, and I want to turn that table over and set it on fire. There's just, and it sucks. God, it sucks. I never ever was this like, uh, the only thing I ever had is as symptoms around that time of the month when I was younger was little cramps. That was it. Maybe, you know, wanting a cheeseburger all the time. But I want a cheeseburger all the time. So, all that to say, the last thing I wanted to do when I got up today was work out. And that's because it wasn't that I don't enjoy my workouts, because I'm going to get to that in a second. I love cardio. I freaking love cardio. I love weight training. I love yoga. 
once I get started on anything, any if I start any workout, I am loving it, except chest and triceps. I hate doing chest and triceps. But I'm somebody that enjoys it. I was, it was just, it was all mental. I'm gonna be talking about this a lot because you guys are going, you know, Kelly, what are you doing differently? Why are you sticking with it? Why are you staying motivated? Why, you know, what's different now? And I'm, it's not one thing. It's really just a lot of stuff that I have finally paid attention to in this warped brain and I'm kind of getting over myself. I'm getting over a lot of baloney that I've <laughs> allowed myself to um, allow in my life as far as bad habits and whatnot. But all that said, <sighs> It is so, your success in, in what you're gonna do, whether you're looking to lose weight, gain muscle or both or whatever, compete, is it's really so much in your head. And, and I'm saying that. I've always had the capability to do what I'm doing. I've always had the capability to do killer workouts. I've always had the capability to do a lot of cardio. I've always had the capability to eat healthy food. I actually enjoy healthy food. Yes, I also enjoy drinking like margaritas and Coronas and dirty martinis and wine when it's social occasions. Um, but I, um, I like healthy food. I like salads. Um, kind of sick of fish this week. I'll explain why in a minute. But um, it's just really your, the bottom line is at the end of the day, it's work, okay? There's very few people, okay, and don't believe those models that say, oh, I can eat whatever I want and just smoke a few cigarettes and I look like this. First of all, they probably have no muscle tone. Second of all, they're probably on cocaine or heroin or something else, and they probably don't eat, they just eat cigarettes. So, there you go. Um, at the end of the day, once you get past a certain age, meaning like 19, 20, your body starts to slow down. And if you want to be healthy, if you want to look a certain way and maintain it or even get better as far as your physical conditioning or muscle um, or, or whatever, it's work. It's work. I've told you guys that. I observed that all last year as I would travel throughout the country and we'd, we'd have some of these fifth lunch events and I'd be around CrossFitters or people that are, you know, really hardcore into yoga or, um, you know, my running people or, or triathletes. And you look at, you know, I'd go meet them for lunch or whatever. I didn't see people going, oh, this is awesome, I'm gonna have a cheat day today. Like, they weren't <clears throat> looking to pig out every single second. Kathy Friedrich, the person that I'm doing her workouts, which I was gonna get to in a second, you know, when I met her for lunch, both times I met her for lunch, do you know what she ordered? And as well as her colleague, you know, she had a Caesar salad with grilled chicken on it and the dressing on the side. You know, this woman who is uber buff, who has been, I mean, like, let me show you a picture if you haven't seen her. This woman is jacked and she's amazing looking. Um, you know, this is not, this is, so in other words, I think a lot of people look at someone like this who, who's been in the fitness industry for, you know, 20 years, whatever, and they're like, oh, she's, she's fit already. She works out all the time, that's why. She can probably eat whatever she wants. Um, I haven't been around Kathy and seen her picking out. When I was around um, all the folks at Reebok CrossFit One, and even the guys, they're walking up and they're having salads. Um, they're, they're eating paleo. So I guess what I'm telling you is it's work either way. Don't fool yourself and think that if you want to have a really, really solid conditioning look or a physique, that you don't have to watch your diet, your way of eating, and that you don't have to work for it and, and be active. So once you figure that out, that it is work and it's going to be work to sustain it, then you realize that it's really just about kind of getting your head in the right place because it's your mind that is gonna to try to talk you out of it. Like my mind tried to talk me out of it this morning. Have I ever done a vlog under 10 minutes lately? Damn. Um, but I guess I get excited about these points. So I got up this morning, you know, it's late, I'm not feeling good. I know that Aunt Flo's on the way, I'm feeling bitchy and moany. Then I go weigh myself and the scale's up 2.4 pounds. Let me tell you something, if that happened, first of all, I probably would've been weighing myself a year and a half ago. If that would've happened a year and a half ago, and I bet a lot of you would do this mindset. I would've been like, you know what? My period's coming soon. I'm just gonna take it easy today. I feel fat. I'm not gonna get a good workout in anyway. So I'm just gonna take it easy and then I'll really be fresh tomorrow. Okay, that's the kind of mindset that I would have had. But because I have established good habits the past two months, and because I have in the back of my head that good Kelly that is kind of kind of coming up from behind, that sounded wrong, <laughs> coming up from behind, you know, the bad Kelly who's in the front of my mind, talking and going, just lay down, watch Food Network all day, get some Krispy Kremes, don't tell Michael, he's never gonna know. Hope he's not watching this video, I can't lie. Um, 
the bad, the good Kelly is coming up from behind and going, um, okay, so remember how excited you are that you are down a size? Remember how excited about you are about how, you know, all of your clothes are really starting to fall off, off of you? Remember how excited you are about how that back fat that you used to hate is like getting smaller and smaller and smaller? Remember how excited you are about the fact that you've gone down a bra size? Yes, I've gone down a whole bra size, a whole cup size. Um, remember how excited you are when you look at your thighs and you're like, are those my thighs? They're getting that small and that ripped? Remember how excited you were when you went to Florida? People that you hadn't seen in a year, didn't you didn't even say anything and they were like, oh my God, how much weight have you lost? Oh my God, what are you doing? Oh my God, I wanna to talk to your trainer. How did you get where you are? You got where you are because you did the work, because you did the work when you didn't feel like it, because you did the diet when you didn't feel like it. And there, trust me people, there were plenty of times the past two months that I didn't feel like doing the work. So hold on, this is really bothering me. Sorry, it just really bothers me. So, good Kelly, one out. I put my clothes on. Um, also, let me be honest with you. It helps when you have somebody, like a local trainer who literally will probably come to your door and be like, excuse me, I haven't seen your stats for your cardio this morning. What's going on? You know, so that kind of accountability and your accountability with your, your friends on YouTube and, and in your blog and Twitter and stuff, that's, that I, that's wonderful. Especially when you really put it out there. When you put your goals out there and you put your pictures out there and you let people know, like, this is what I'm doing and I'm serious about it. So um, I got ready and I started doing my workout and I was like, okay, I think I need to do some Kathy Tabata. So I'm telling you, the Tabata workouts, I really love. I'm still blown away too by, did I, I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys. Before I left for vacation, hold on, I'm gonna show you. I, if somebody can tell me how to find this out, my, one of my favorite uh, DVDs that I put in the night before I was leaving for Florida you know, my Ilaria Montagnani, my, um, the kickboxing one, I put it in the DVD and it like disappeared. So let's just say, exhibit A, somewhere in here is a lost DVD. But I decided to do, it just makes me sad. What the heck? You need to stop. Um, so I put the Tabata in, burnt about, as you saw, 350, 370 calories, I think. Um, but, you know, I didn't feel like it, okay? And I, the other thing that I was gonna say is, you know, a lot of people will say, I hate cardio. And, you know, I don't like to sweat. And, you know, I can't work out because I don't, I don't have the money for a gym membership to go to a class. Do you know, let me tell you something. One of the things that I do is really dorky, but I just don't care. Um, when I finish, so I usually do, most days I'm gonna do cardio at home in the morning. So I do my cardio in the morning and then I come in here, I start making my coffee, my oatmeal. Um, in a second, I'm about to have some of these bad boys, <clears throat> which I really should have had now. But um, So I make my coffee and then while my coffee's brewing, like I kind of use that time to just add in some, some runs and like running around the kitchen and tuck jumps and stuff. And it made me think of something because, uh, I did this one video that was like, um, and I'll try to link to it, but if you look up in my videos, I was like, how to burn calories in a hotel room. And the point was, it was just a video of my shoes, but people make so many excuses to like why they can't get in, you know, oh, I can't run because I don't have a track, or oh, I can't work out because I don't have a gym. And it's like, quit making excuses. I can get a cardio workout in and get my sweat on in like a, a, the tiniest apartment or the smallest hotel room because it's really about just moving. And in fact, then, then you'll have some people that'll go, oh, I can't jump, I have bad joints or my knees are bad. It's like, you can do low impact and get your sweat on just as much. And sometimes it's, okay, you might think that, you might laugh when I say this, but it can be fun. It can be fun to like just challenge yourself and say, okay, just for shits and giggles, what can I do? I'm gonna just try and start with jumping jacks. And start, you know, jumping jacks in your bedroom and then start to just jump around. And I'm even gonna give you a little song because that's kind of a lot of what I do in the kitchen. You guys are gonna think I'm even dorkier than ever, but really, here's your theme song. Just for 
for you guys. I might have to put that on. Oh, he's not really attractive. He's wearing a Boston Celtic shirt. Um, anyway, I come out here and I brew my coffee. And maybe I've, I've burned like 325 calories or whatever. But literally, I, I kid you not, I just put my music on. And while my coffee's brewing and while my, while my oatmeal, and this is like three to four minutes, people. But while my oatmeal, then I literally will, can you see this little hallway? See that hallway right there? That goes back to my bedroom. I will like do, and maybe it's um, when I was down in Florida, Aubrey's boyfriend was at um, NFL combine training in Indianapolis and they were doing all these really fun drills. And so I was like, hmm, that looks badass. I think I can do that because I'm so like a football player. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, see that hallway back there? I will run up and down this hallway. It's not a very big hallway, people. I'm talking about like probably one city block. But I will run up and down the hallway. I will do side, you know, like that, side, Jenny Lynn style. Um, I will do sprints. I will do high, I love high knees running, you know, where you have to, you hold your hands, well, not this high, but you know, where your knees come up to your hands. And then um, I do all kinds of stuff. But you know, think about like jumping jacks, Think about jumping jacks and then just jumping, high jumps, okay? And if you if you can't do high impact, if you can't do plyo, like plyo jacks and all the great fun stuff that we do in some of these things and you're worried about your knees, let me just tell you something. You can do so much stuff, do Tabata style without ever jumping. Do a bunch of lunges just like this really fast for 20 seconds and then rest and then maybe spread your legs wider, do those squats. We're gonna make some of these videos, people, because the thing is, there's no excuses. If you're busy and you're at work all day and you're like, oh yeah, I'm at work all day, I can't fit in a workout, and then, you know, we entertain clients at night, so I don't have time. There is no reason, no reason why you can't be doing some of this stuff in your office before you go. Would you get a little sweaty? Yeah. Can you go to the bathroom and freshen up and put a new shirt on? Yeah. Can you make a little effort if you want to have abs, or if you want to have a great butt, or if you want to have smaller legs, what are you going to do? So here's the deal. I've already rambled on for 22 minutes. I'm going to shut up and do another video later, maybe in a minute. Uh, but I'm going to make my egg whites. So I'm going to do this video, and I'll come back and finish up. I could probably talk all day. <sighs> I hope you guys have a good day, and I will talk to you tomorrow.